Hello friends, this video on chemical reactions and equations part 9 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 8. Now we'll see the analogy of uh, displacement reaction, the, the, the scenario which we have in real life, which, which is almost similar to displacement chemical reaction in real life. So there we have one compound AB. One another compound C comes and it displays this B and the B comes out. That's how it is. So there's a compound AB, they're happy together. One guy comes C and C displays this guy because A is attracted more towards B or something happens, right? You apply some heat to something, so this becomes AC plus B. For example, in the real life, let this guy be A who is dancing happily with his partner and the partner is B. Right? So they are happily dancing. Now the instructor sees one more girl come and she's also a good dancer. Now the instructor is saying, but nothing happens, right? One so they are happily dancing, one more person C has come. The person C has come, but nothing happens. Or maybe the moment the person has come, this thing are displayed. Or the external factor is required. The external factor is supposed to be instructor. Instructor says that, dude. This lady is wearing a red dress and you are wearing a blue. It won't look good in the stage. So why don't you swap? Why don't you swap? So then what happens? This lady swaps with this girl and this girl comes out here. So if you see now, earlier A and B were dancing together. This one new girl who came in C, the instructor told that the dress looks better, the blue and blue. So why don't you dance together? So now if you see this guy is A and C, now A and C are dancing and the B lady who was here, now B lady is out. Right? It may be that A likes to dance with C. It may happen that you don't need, even need instructor here. The moment C comes, B tells no, I don't want, uh, B tells to, I mean A tells to B, I don't want to dance with you because you're wearing a red dress, I want to dance with C. Maybe this guy himself tells because maybe that this guy is inclined toward this lady or Maybe this guy is not inclined that much, but the instructor forced him to do it. So, so maybe this reaction happens on its own or maybe happen on some external force. For example, heat or temperature or I mean temperature or pressure or something or some catalyst also, right? So some catalyst also may be required for this. So, but end of the day, you forget this part, you, you exclude this part to make it life simple. But end of the day, what's happening is A and B were dancing, C came. And now A and C are dancing and the B is gone, right? So the, the, this person C took the place of B and the B is out now, correct? This, is a, this may happen in the real life scenario when you are practicing dance in schools and the teacher tells that no, this pair doesn't look good, let's change the pair, right? So that's an example of a displacement chemical reaction in our daily life. So let's see the chemical, let's see the chemistry definition of this. Displacement chemical reaction, you have this product AB. When C comes, C displays this guy B, so it becomes AC and the B is out. So it says that one element or ions moves out of one compound and into another. One example is active AC plus active metals, you get this kind of reaction. This is one example of that. So we'll take more examples. So you have hydrochloric acid and magnesium if you add. So you have hydrochloric acid and magnesium, what you get is MgCl2 and H2. So what you have seen this, this Mg, it came here and it paired with Cl and hydrogen is kicked out. Correct? Sulfuric acid plus iron is equal to iron sulfur plus hydrogen. So here if you see, iron came here, it kicked out hydrogen and hydrogen is an independent identity now. Correct? Fe kicked out hydrogen and it become FeSO4. Here you see nitric acid plus magnesium, magnesium, nitrogen, hydrogen. So we have nitric acid, HNO3 plus magnesium. It gives magnesium, nitrogen and hydrogen. So if you, now if you see the magnesium came here, kicked out hydrogen and the hydrogen is out. Right? And magnesium and nitrate become magnesium nitrate. Zinc, you add with hydrochloric acid, this becomes zinc, chloride, and hydrogen. Zinc and hydrochloric acid, if you see, the zinc guy takes, overtake this guy, HCl. Hydrogen is kicked out and this guy is out. So 
So in this, if you see, this happened because zinc wants to gel up with chlorine more, right? Then hydrogen. So zinc has a more affinity to gel up with chlorine than hydrogen, and then it then it pairs uh, uh, creates a bond with chlorine and the hydrogen stick out. So we'll, we'll we'll understand all these things I think the class eleven when we discuss uh, the atoms, the shape of atoms, and how they have neutrons, protons, and electrons, and what makes it stable, and why this reaction happens, right? So all these things we'll study in class eleven. The reason behind this reaction, why it's happening. You must be wondering, right? But you add zinc and hydrochloric acid, why it becomes residual? This answer to this, but now it will be too difficult for you guys to understand because in class tenth now, once you move to class eleventh, we'll understand why this thing happens because zinc has more affinity to attach with chlorine than hydrogen, so that's the reason why it happens, right? So we'll, we'll learn all the things in class eleventh, but just for now, you can understand that this is a kind of displacement chemical reaction where one element displacing another. So here also lead plus sulfuric acid becomes lead plus sulfate plus hydrogen. This guy lead. Kicked out hydrogen, and hydrogen is out now, and this becomes lead sulfate. So this is one example of displacement chemical reaction, right? So for this, we'll do an activity. So we'll take two iron nail and two test tubes marked A and B, and in each test tube, take 10 mL of copper sulfate solution. So we have two iron, two test tubes, right? And this, this guy be A and B, and both has copper sulfate solution. Immerse one nail in copper sulfate solution for Uh, in test tube B for 20 minutes. So in test tube U, B will immerse this nail. In test tube A, will both immerse, and will this keep for this 20 minutes? And after 20 minutes, it will take out this nail from this test tube B, right? Please note, test tube A we are not even touching. That's just for show. We'll compare this later. Test tube B is something which we are uh, doing stuffs now. So test tube B, we have put this for 20 minutes. It's all copper sulfate solution, right? Now, after 20 minutes, take out this guy nail. So we will see that after 20 minutes, the color change. The color of copper sulfate also change, and the color of nail also change. And we'll take out this guy after 20 minutes. Now, compare the intensity of the blue color of copper sulfate solution. If you see, this guy is dark now, and this guy is light. Both are copper sulfate, but this guy become lighter. And also, if you see the, if you compare the. Um, Nails also they are different. There is more blackish now, right? So both has changed. The nail color has changed, and the copper sulfate solution has changed. What has happened? What has happened is you had this iron that is the nail. In this, you dip with copper. You dip this guy in copper sulfate solution. What you got is this FeSO4. So now this guy is FeSO4, right? And this guy is a little copperish. This is not black. I think this guy should be a little copperish color. So this guy is a copper. This guy is a copper. This guy got a layer of copper here, right? So this guy is a copperish color, and this has this should not black. There's some issue with animation. This guy should be a little copperish color, and this guy becomes a lighter color because FeSO4 is lighter and CuSO4 is darker. So that's what happened. This CuSO4 become FeSO4, and this uh, iron got a layer of copper. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.